They called both of us and I ladies. Today I'm going to show you how to use Barbie Barbie's pronouns. You got kicked out of a bar. Flower flowers emoji pronouns. No. Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the pronoun gal. Now you may remember her. She's the one whose goal online seems to be to try and normalize these neo pronouns, right? And xeno pronouns. So shroom self, rock self. Yeah, she thinks that should be normalized. That's, you know, that's totally valid. That's like her favorite word. Valid, 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 everything is valid. Things, she says things that if you said them years ago, it, they would land you in a psych ward, but because now we have this cult of mostly teenage girls who think that they don't have a gender, uh, you know, deciding what constitutes a bigot, everyone is meant to just clap along. And if you're not clapping, then you are just that. You are a bigot. So she's back. I mean, she never really left, but I don't really like to focus on individuals in this way, right? Unless we can have a general, you know, a broader conversation about why this individual is important. For example, a lot of people tend to obsess over Dylan Mulvaney and make a whole lot of videos about Dylan Mulvaney. I've talked about Dylan before, and I think it is important uh, you know, because this is a person that literally met with the president. The president of the United States decided that he should meet with Dylan because of the way that Dylan prances around and pretends to be a woman. That says a lot about our society and what we deem to be exceptional and brave and stunning. At that point, yeah, we need to talk about this Dylan person. Now, the pronoun gal, she's not meeting with the president yet. But who knows, maybe after this traumatic experience, Joe Biden will wake up from his nap and set up an interview with her and, you know, discuss what this means for the rest of the lesbian Snow Whites in the United States, which is what she calls herself, by the way. Maybe, who knows. But even if she doesn't, I think we should talk about this for one reason only. It's not so much her behavior that surprises me. This is nothing surprising. This is typical narcissistic behavior. She's looking for attention. She's getting the attention. It, that's not what surprises me. What really gets me are the comments, the number of supporters, and really feel bad for her because this is so traumatic. Just watch the video and decide for yourself if this is an appropriate reaction to have, if this was an appropriate thing to post for everybody to see. Just look at her profile for a second. You are valid. <laughs> they, them, lesbian Snow White, the pronoun gal, call me princess or snow. Or else, she forgot to add. Non-binary, of course. Yeah, of course. I was harassed and was kicked out of a gay bar, which should have been a safe space, but wasn't. Not only was I kicked out, but my wife was kicked out along with me. So I made a video when I got home about how it felt to process that. Trigger warning. A really bad experience. Basically, I was just getting a drink at the bar and they called both Azul and I ladies. Is your wife not a lady? I'm a little confused. The pronoun gal. Not the pronoun they, them. Lesbian Snow White. After they were done making the drink, I went up and I, I was like, some people don't refer to themselves as ladies, but it's okay that you didn't know. I'm in a gay bar, so we should be safe. Too bad, turned it around. How did they turn it around? Why didn't you elaborate? What does that mean? She probably just got really drunk. They probably kicked her out because she was <laughs> drunk. They got so mad at me. And they took the drink away from my wife and I. He hit the bar, like, because he was like, are you serious? You're doing the same thing to me. How? And then they kicked us out. I didn't think that was going to happen. Like, how am I supposed to feel? This was the first time that I, like, told somebody I felt brave enough to tell somebody my identity. And I just wanted mm -hmm. Girl, you do this every single day. What are you talking about? That's what your entire TikTok is about. Is talking about your identity. Funny, funny pronouns and sentences. Today I'm going to show you how to use fey fem pronouns and emoji pronouns. Ah, are you scared? Today I'm going to show you how to use bro bros pronouns. Today I'm going to show you how to use flower flowers emoji pronouns. It's not a hate crime to call you a lady instead of a lesbian snow white they them or whatever you want people to call you. I just wanted to let him know and I told him it's okay that you didn't know. He was still mad at me for being myself and for my wife being themselves just her we were kicked out so fast maybe he just wanted to finish work and go home without this drama but these people are all drama they're all drama and i tried talking to the other person he came over and was like what's going on it was another straight white man another straight white man you're a white woman 
when I told him he's just not respecting our identity and I don't understand why. And he was like, you know what, just leave. And I got kicked out of a bar. I felt so embarrassed. She's capable of feeling embarrassment, yet you film and post this? I'm furious and livid. I know. You could really hear that in in the, what is it, the wife's voice? Can I say wife? She She called her wife. In the wife's voice, I am furious. I am livid. <laughs> I know, it's so bad, it's so bad. Imagine if I didn't accept you for just being gay. Dude, like, are you serious? Who cares? I don't think he'd give a shit if you accepted him or not. Who are you to him? You're a stranger. If he's mentally stable, he wouldn't care. Why would he? You guys will probably never see each other ever again. You don't have to exchange life stories and wait for acceptance from one another. What is this? These people walk around treating everything like a therapy session. Get an actual therapist who wants to, probably don't want to, they're getting paid for it, but who will listen to your problems. We don't want to. We don't want to know these things. It felt like, like a dad, like yelling at you. Oh my God. One more thing that I wanted to add is that he yelled at my wife and told them that he sees us as ladies. And so he will always refer to us as ladies. Bye. And at the end of the day, transphobia within the community is so disgusting. And it happens all the time, even if you don't realize it. <laughs> no, what's disgusting is you thinking that you can walk into this gay bar and make everything about you. Walking around thinking the spotlight is always on you and everyone's interested in what you have to say and what your identity is. Like making fun of neo pronouns? Yes, that's transphobia. Making fun of they them pronouns? That is transphobia. Breathing is transphobia. Walking is transphobia. We should all say off with their heads to all the bigots out there if they have a different opinion because that's transphobia. Let's not forget about the silencing of people of color within the community and that these are things that people like me should be working on and through or else things truly don't get better. What does this have to do with anything? In this situation, I know I was lucky enough to be a white person and because of this, I will never stop letting people know my truth. Somehow they'll make everything about that too. And let's not forget people of color. BLM. Also, let's talk about transphobia. Also, let's not forget the POC feminist erasure of Latinx. Like, the, the, what is this? How did we go from gay bar tragedy to people of color? I'm sorry, I just can't help but imagine if this bartender ever found this video somehow, he's probably just laughing right now. Bye, even if they have great food, great drinks, whatever, doesn't matter. They're not willing to learn, they're not willing to accept the damage that they've done. Girl, you were kicked out. What are you talking about? Pretending like, oh, I'm not gonna go back. You were kicked out. Good, don't come back. Leave that bartender alone. And it's okay to learn new things every day. They should take a re-education course. Like what they're trying to do with Jordan Peterson and his license, if you didn't know, in Canada. This bartender, throw him into a prison, I say, and just brainwash him. Get subliminal messaging into the cell. They, them, they, them, she, they, she, they, until he just comes out like the perfect human, like you want him to be. It seems like the people that take up the most room are gay white men. And I think we need to do something about that. What should we do, pronoun gal? What should we do? Give me some ideas. Because she's not a gay white man, that's why we have to do something about the gay white men. Expects validation from everyone all the time. And when she doesn't get it, she plays the victim card. Woe is me. How could this be happening? I was called a lady while I am a woman and I present as a woman. I'm going to cry. She repeats over and over again. It's so bad. It's so bad. Girl, people are dying. People are starving. So a bartender called you a lady. Get help. And what's crazier is that we're supposed to go along with this. We're supposed to say, this really was very triggering. This is traumatic. This is, the, that guy should be arrested. That's the next step. That's just what she's thinking, but she doesn't want to say it. But the interesting thing is, it's the good news, right? It's not just the people leaning right that are reacting to this and saying, this is insane, like this is absurd. What are you crying over? It's not just those people that are responding this way. It's actually, you good? 
it's not just those people. It's also the people within her own community. So the LGBT, right? They're also saying, um, lesbian Snow White, this is making us look bad because you are crying over being misgendered while you're presenting as a woman. And not just that, you are telling people that it's transphobic and that they're bigots if they won't call you a tree, if they won't use mushroom, mushroom pronouns, if they won't say, yes, your pronouns are pavement, pavement self, and if I don't respect those pronouns, I'm a bigot. The insanity doesn't start with pillow, pillow self. It starts at they, them, because you are either a man or a woman, okay? You could be a delusional woman or a delusional man. Yeah, that happens, unfortunately, and I hope those people get help but you're either a man or a woman. You're not non-binary because you like to wear flannels. Just as insane as asking me to call you a fence or a tree or a zizem or a they them. You cannot force other people to respect those pronouns. You can, you can say you're non-binary. You can believe really like deep within your soul that you are non-binary and that you don't have a gender. That's fine. You can believe you're a bird too. That's okay. You can do whatever you want, believe whatever you want. But you cannot force other people legally, you know, at school, at work, to use they, them pronouns for you. Or you shouldn't be, at least. You should not have that authority to say, you either call me a they, them, because today I feel like a they, them, or else I'm going to get you arrested. That's the direction we're going. That's the direction we're heading in. So for everyone thinking, yeah, like, textbook self is crazy, but they, them, zzm them, that's fine. You either live in biological reality or you don't. You identify as broccoli or? I, I am Mr. Broccoli, yes, yes, that's right. I've always been a piece of broccoli. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right. I think men tend to go along with this less, right? And this is where the manipulation comes in. It's the cutesy, it's the cutesy aesthetic that she puts on. And you see this all the time with the they, thems and whatever. Now listen, you may think it really is cute. You may think it's adorable. Okay, fine. I personally think it's a little creepy that she prances around like a toddler. Everything about her is very childlike. Today I'm going to show you how to use G Gem pronouns. Today I'm going to show you how to use Pro Pearl's pronouns. And today I'm going to show you how to use Barbie Barbie's pronouns. It's a grown woman dressing, acting like a child. I think it's weird. At least a little weird. You may think it's so cute. Okay, great. But I think it's all part of a manipulation tactic used to manipulate especially teenage girls and younger women because you see that and you think, oh, look, it's so harmless. It's so innocent. All we're doing is respecting each other, right? Oh, but ignore the fact that people are now getting arrested. If someone claims that they were offended, ignore that. Ignore the fact that people are losing their job. Ignore the fact that people are getting their chance at getting a degree taken away because, again, someone claimed that their feelings were hurt. Now, you may know me. I don't like the gender stereotypes. I don't like how we're saying, oh, all women are like this, all men are like that. So if you are not stereotypically feminine or masculine, you're non-binary, whatever, you have. that means you must be trans. No, because women can be tomboys, for example. There can be more feminine men, and there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion but this is quite obvious that when it's a majority of women who are going along with this gender crap something's going on so ladies especially ladies but men too everyone is it really empathetic to go along with this individual's delusion is it really the compassionate thing to do to say yes if it makes you feel good i'll call you chicken chicken self that makes sense Let's just forget the fact that there's no logic in that whatsoever. But if it makes you feel good, that's today, right now, this, this moment, then I'll do it. Because that's empathetic. No, no. I think real empathy is to try and encourage that individual to get professional help because something's going on. At the end of the day, we can chuckle at this video. We can laugh at her. We can laugh at the people who are unfortunately have been brainwashed into thinking this is valid. But I think at the end of the day, it's just sad. It's just sad. And not for the reason that she's saying that, oh, this is triggering and this was a traumatic experience because they didn't call me a they, them or what, they didn't listen to my monologue. They didn't listen to my life story or my daddy issues or whatever's going on in my life. They didn't listen to me, this random bartender. Now I'm traumatized for life. It's not sad because of that. It's sad because you have, you are suffering from a mental illness and sprinkle in some narcissism in there because this is not normal behavior. Along with normalizing these pronouns, 
and this gender ideology, she's also normalizing these breakdowns, right? Filming, setting up your phone, and just crying, bawling your eyes out for the stupidest thing ever. When you upload anything online, you are looking for other people to react to that. And even if you aren't looking for that, you're gonna get it. That Everyone knows that. That's why people post things on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. If you cannot handle that, you should not be on the internet. This is an obvious overreaction, but the comments, oh my God, yes, like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Like, yeah, people are starving, people are dying. Uh, you know, kids are having their genitals chopped off and whatever, but like, that's really sad. That bartender misgendering you, that's horrendous. Like, it's a desperate cry for attention. And I'm not saying she's not sad. I do think she's sad. I really do think that she's so, she's not used to people around her living in biological reality because of the echo chamber she finds herself in, in uh, both online and in real life, probably. I doubt she talks to many conservatives. I doubt she talks to any moderates even. I seriously doubt it. I think she limits herself to people that go along with this, yeah, whatever pronoun, name that one object and now it's a pronoun. I think that's who she surrounds herself with. And it was such a shock to her that a man wasn't willing to go along with it. He sees you, he sees that you're a woman, he called you a lady. You don't like it? Okay, get over it. No one should be forced to go along with this. Isn't the whole point live and let live? But then everywhere you go, you name everyone a bigot and then people try and get people fired for that. That's not live and let live. And she's being fed that validation from others who are just as indoctrinated as her or who want to be like her, which is very scary. All the young girls and women watching her videos and thinking, Oh my god, look at her aesthetic. She has these pretty dresses and sparkles and, you know, pink. And all she wants to do is spread love and joy and demand that people respect other people's pronouns. Doesn't matter how ridiculous they are. It doesn't matter that they're not based in biological reality. We have to respect their pronouns. Or else you get blasted on the internet and labeled a bigot. Let's just ignore that. Let's, let's say that part quietly. The rest is going to be about how pretty everything is and how empathetic we all are and how, you know, everything is rainbows and puppies and sunshine and kisses and hugs. That's not reality. That's not what these people are doing. So when we normalize mental illness, when we normalize adult men and women behaving like toddlers and posting their mental breakdowns, that poses a threat to free speech because you can't say anything because those mentally unstable adults will have a mental breakdown, which is, of course, that means it was a hate crime if you, whatever you said, if it made them cry, that's a hate crime. I wonder why it doesn't work the other way around. What if someone that leans right started crying because they didn't want to respect your messed up neo-xeno pronoun? What then? Would you be the one committing the hate crime? Would you be a bigot because you made the Trump supporter, let's say, cry? Absolutely not. That never happens. No one goes to their defense. Only your feelings are valid. Everyone else, if they don't, if they don't have the same political belief, they're actually not humans. Fun fact. If you didn't know, they're not human beings, no. Their feelings, their emotions are not valid. It's only when their feelings are hurt because for some reason they're above everyone else. And the decline of individuals behaving like mature human beings poses a threat to our society, to sanity, to living in reality. I hope she gets help. I hope the people that support her and think this is normal also get help. Um, and I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think this was an appropriate reaction to have and then to post online? I'm curious, so make sure you comment below. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.